Hey people, what's up? Guess what we're doing today? What are we doing today, baby? We're going out. Yeah, that too. But I was saying, we're vlogging. Yay! Oh. <laughs> so you may be wondering who uh, these crazy two people are that do these K-pop reaction videos. So we decided to let you guys come along for a little journey with us today on Valentine's Day and hang out with us so you can learn who these crazy family life people are. What's up? <laughs> Thumbs up. I love how Phil becomes a deaf mute. Seriously, as soon as I turn the camera on, Phil becomes a deaf mute. <laughs> we've actually tried to vlog before. I mean, like seriously, when I say we we vlogged, like I have footage for like the last two years. Our last two anniversaries, I seriously have footage for the last two years of us vlogging that we've never updated. And Phil, who is Sir Talks A Lot, seriously, as soon as I turn on the camera, he's like. <laughs> and, and that's seriously all he does. He's like, <laughs> Sir Talks A Lot. <laughs> He becomes a complete mute when we turn on the camera. He doesn't have that problem when we do our reaction videos, but anytime we turn on the vlog camera, he's like, <laughs> and he doesn't know what else to say. I'm like, just be yourself. But yeah, since we've been doing these reaction videos and you guys probably are wondering who the heck we are, we decided we will let you in on our life a little bit and you get to experience who we are and what we're about. So. Come along on a journey with us. <laughs> so yes, we're about to go have lunch. We'll talk to you guys in a minute. You know you don't have to close after every time you turn the camera off. No! <laughs> you don't have to say your trademark, thanks for watching, every time you turn the camera off. Thanks for watching! Every time you turn the camera off, you get ready to turn the camera off, thanks for watching. 20 Good. minutes later, you feel something else, and you're, thanks for watching. <laughs> Every time Phil picks up the camera, and he finishes his statement, and he's ready to turn the camera off, what are you filming? <laughs> you. No, you're filming outside. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> what was that? You're all the camera all the way over there, out there. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Every single time he picks up the camera and starts vlogging, he finishes the statement. He's like, Thanks for watching. And he turns the camera off. An hour later, if we're filming something else, as soon as he's finished, Thanks for watching. <laughs> he would do this like five times in one day. As he's clo every closing statement he does, every time he gets ready to turn the camera off, it's Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm very polite. My mother raised me well. You only need to say it once a day, babe. At the end of the night, when you're done vlogging for the day, then you say thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> We're finally eating. We decided to get Subway. Uh, I'll show you what I got. I got a, uh, what is this? Uh, what are you? Monterey chicken. Six inch Monterey chicken. I had them scoop out some of the bread. And I got some what, spinach and tomatoes and Chipotle Southwest and then some sun chips. What'd you get, babe? Sweet onion teriyaki. Sweet onion teriyaki. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I don't know if I ever had that. That's the teriyaki sauce, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And, uh, Ooh, look at you. And we both got sun chips. Still got pop. I got water. But yeah, I'm starving, so. No time for talking. It's time to eat because I'm starving. Time to chow down. <laughs> Hanging out because we um we don't get to go out that often. It seems like we always have plans. Like someone always has plans for us. Every weekend comes by, somebody needs something from me. So we never get a chance to just hang out, me and Phil. So this weekend, we don't have plans besides the meeting we went to this morning. We don't have other plans. We don't have other people trying to pull us in different directions. So I was looking forward to us just hanging out, just the two of us. Um, I don't know about that snow. Those, that might change everything. But hopefully it'll calm down. So we can do something. So yeah, I'm just chilling, Phil waiting for Phil in the comic store 
That boy in his comic books. That man loves him some comic books. His collection is craziness, but he's in there now getting him some more books. So I'll probably be sitting here for a while by myself waiting on him to get this book and then I think we're gonna go shopping after this. I need to go to the store. I need to oh crap, I need to go to the grocery store. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I hate gro let's just hate grocery shopping like serious real deal I hate going to the grocery store which is so funny because my mother she is the total opposite she loves grocery shopping she loves a good deal she would go to a grocery store and be there like an hour hour and a half well over an hour she's been she'll be in there she's looking at the prices comparison she will find the best deal she'll come with she'll save a lot of money but me I'm the total opposite I just throw what I need in the cart I don't care how much it costs. I just don't want to spend all that time being in the grocery store. But I just remember there's a few things that I really need to pick up. And I really need to get them tonight. So, crap. That's another place I guess I'm going to have to stop and get things hopefully really quickly. And I didn't make a list either. I might just go today and get the stuff that I really, really, really need today get that and then Monday I'll make a list and then Monday since I'm off for President's Day I'm off of work I'll go on Monday and get everything else I need because this this snow we all it's getting crazy right now so yeah I needed to go shopping because I need to buy a shirt for tomorrow for church because we have to wear specific colors and I had to find me try to find a red shirt um, and we're planning on going to the movies too so I don't know. I hope we don't have to cancel our plans. I hope it doesn't get real bad. Or maybe we'll just be crazy and we'll brave the snow and stick it out anyway. So, we shall see. I'll let you know. So, I just went, came back from the store, the little bookstore. Uh, it's one of my favorite places. Um, I've been kind of falling behind on the new Avengers. It's the only series I actually collect floppies. Everything else, I, I'm, I'm normally a trade collector for trades, but when you just collect the whole collection of comic books at one time, floppies is just when there's like single issues and it's new Avengers. And it's probably my favorite series. Probably the best series for for me right now on the shelves. So yeah, I can't wait to like consume these guys and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Show what you got. So I got issue number 26 and then issue number 27. So was that will that catch you up or is there? I'm still two issues behind. But I'm still two issues behind. Why don't you get them off? Are you gonna save money? Cause I'm trying to save money. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> The one right there? The one uh, we're not gonna. White put, put a Reese. We're not gonna put a camera on a guy that doesn't want to be in a vlog. <laughs> Wait, I told y'all, did I tell y'all that after every time Phil finished speaking, he says, Thanks for watching. Hey, <laughs> I'm so happy you did that on camera. Thanks for watching. Oh, God. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm like getting beat in the face with stuff. So guys, guess what we're even doing? I like can't even look at the camera. But I'm 
nervous. <laughs> We're like 40 minutes early. <laughs> So we got a lot of time you know, now. It's so funny, people are staring at me like, what's she doing with the camera? But yeah, so we got like time to kill. Don't wanna go inside the theater yet. So we're just chilling in the lobby right now, actually. Phil went to go get concessions and then I guess we're just going to sit in the theater for a half hour. But yeah, I'm excited. And we'll have to tell you how it is afterwards. Uh, the acting. Yeah, it's just... Missing some pizzazz. Yeah, the acting... It wasn't bad. No. It wasn't bad. I just uh, felt some of the emotion wasn't there. Because like, I know this character. And these scenes, like... I didn't feel like their connection. Like, I feel like it's supposed to be chemistry. I, I won't say they have bad chemistry, but like... It's supposed to be like this raw passion where they're like drawing each other. And I don't feel like... <laughs> I feel like the only time we really felt that was at one time in the elevator. Yeah, that was definitely the raw passion. Yeah. But just like the emotion that like, where you want to see these characters together, I didn't get that. I don't know. I just didn't get it. Now, the sex scenes... <laughs> they went there. They definitely, they, they went there. And when I say they went there, I mean they went there. I felt so bad for her. I'm like... How uncomfortable has that, that that has to be to like this guy that you barely know? I mean, all up in your glory. Because <laughs> I mean, he was all up in her glory. <laughs> yeah, the sex scenes were definitely steamy. They were wow. They were wow. <laughs> but I mean, the story overall, I'm still not sure. Maybe she goes into the wrong. Maybe. I hope so. I hope she grows into the wall. It was She's got three more. Yeah, she's got two more to go. But they did stay very true to the book, which I appreciated. I was curious how they were gonna end it. Um, I won't give it away. But yeah, it uh I'm not hundred percent sure what's sold on it. I definitely will keep tuning in because you gotta keep going on, but it was okay. What do you think? As a person that hasn't read the book, I thought it was okay. I liked it. Uh-huh. I do feel there was some chemistry missing, but I felt like there were some scenes when the chemistry was good. Yeah. I think it was mainly a little bit on Christian side, the actor called Christian, mainly because I feel like he has to be that that cold... Yeah, void. Yeah, no, so, No emotions. But at the same time, I feel like, to take her to the chicken plate and stage, she had some to make up as well, and I feel like for, for us to believe the passion, she really had to go there, and sometimes she went there, and sometimes uh, it just felt, it just felt like she was too innocent for the role, yeah. which is good because. Well, I, I mean, that's the thing that's about her character. She's supposed to be innocent, so she's supposed to be innocent, but it just—I don't know. But I mean, it was definitely was not bad. Yeah. We had some technical difficulties with the camera. We could not uh, show you our meals, but they were very good. I had uh, chicken, something or other. It was chicken stuffed with cheese um, with side of mashed potatoes and Phil had lasagna. You can see his plate. And that's an awesome indie plate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it might have cut off when we were talking about the food. But, ah well. You're so cute. It was like, you guys want me to take a Valentine's Day picture of you together. He's like, I promise I'll own Clark Blair's wall and run home with the camera. <laughs> oh, so sweet. So he took a picture of me and Phil together. That's so cute because he saw me holding the camera. He thought we were trying to take a picture together. What are you doing? Picture will be it. The picture is. No, I'm going to just insert it really quickly. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a little screen, but I'll insert the picture. So silly. But I just thought that was so sweet that he offered to take a picture for us because he thought that I was struggling to take a picture. Selfie so dolls. What? We're selfie absorbed. That's what people were thinking. Yeah, because I held this camera up all night, so they really do think we're selfie absorbed. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>